Hello, so we'll actually start drawing now. It's drawing is, is three things to me. It's one is proportion, and another one, second, angle, angle of the line and all this. And then thirdly, it's a tone, light and dark, and all this, what sort of degree light and dark will uh, sort of um, analyze this one. To start with, okay, first step is proportion. Make sure this ratio is same as this original picture. And usually it's about two to three, and two to three. <clears throat> but probably this paper is slightly shorter on the side. But anyway, we'll start. So how you start is kind of measuring all this, you know, uh, position of uh, this zone and sky zone and earth zone. Uh, to measure that one, I'll set up halfway through point in this horizontally. Maybe you can just roughly measure where the center is. And maybe slightly go. And um, set up this halfway through point. I folded it so you know where the halfway through point is around here, this dark mass of the tree. So that dark mass of the tree comes here and then divide between this halfway through to the bottom of the paper which is around here. So this is about a quarter of it. And then in this paper, halfway through from here to bottom is around here, around here. It's around sort of a horizon comes through. So horizon maybe, it's, but maybe it's slightly above the quarter bit. So uh, you set horizon first. In landscape, the horizon is most important because um, it's a three-dimensional world. And then after the horizon, it's flat flat plane, you know, flat surface. And then beyond the horizon is a vertical, whether it's bush or rows of house or sort of sky, um, mountain and the forest. All this is kind of vertical. So up to the horizon is um, plane, you know, flat, uh, horizontal. That's that divide kind of you know that imagine sort of big box like you know corner of this room or box after there is flat and therefore everything stand on earth or comes out on you know gravity have to have to be below this horizon think like in this case these trees on the horizon i mean below horizon lamppost and all these tree trunks and bin. The trunk shouldn't be above horizon. Then that means it's a floating tree or something like that. Okay. Um, now, next important thing is probably we'll set up top of the tree. So between halfway through to the both, um, edge of the paper, halfway through what comes I think it's still kind of below. This is halfway through. So this tree comes below this halfway through. Slightly below. That means maybe tree top comes around here. And then all these trees, you can see this tree top and then lamppost, those two big ones, it's kind of about the same line, same level. So you just mark, mark this top of the tree and then top of the round post. And then so far, and probably our mark, now that maybe you can measure from horizon, not from the center, you know, where it comes from. So from horizon to the bottom of the paper, uh, these three trunks, the very closest one, front one, is kind of above halfway through. So let's say this is halfway through and then above 
above her basal is this three three trunks come and then this uh, bottom of this lamp post is kind of between here to here halfway through and another halfway through so that means maybe horizon should be slightly higher but anyway um here to here halfway another halfway so this is the bottom lamp post okay. and um, maybe i'll mark this um, edge of the roof behind you know above horizon is quite distinct you know strong contrast here so i'll mark this maybe sort of about maybe about half the length of this tree or maybe even less so maybe about this much this is the edge of the roof roof of the buildings or house and then another sort of distinctive um, line I can see is kind of bottom of this umbrella tree can you see all this opening up and supporting all these branches so i'll mark that level as well can you see maybe if i use ruler or something it's better but anyway um above here around here it's kind of bottom the umbrella shaped trees it goes all the way across and probably maybe i'll mark this shadow as well a uh, shadow of this bush is about halfway through between horizon to the bottom and slightly above or maybe sort of this edge of the edge of this tree i'll mark the shadow now so far we did uh, horizontally you know where the position top of the tree and all this comes now we we'll do it vertically vertically it's about halfway through is here i think but same so this is the center of this it's kind of almost this center tree comes on the center but slightly to the left to the center now from now on i'll measure from this tree to the edge of the paper and all so on so on. um so between this tree to the edge of the paper the center halfway through is about here and whereas this distant tree is near the horizon is coming out and then around here and then another halfway through between the lamp post wow well, okay lamp post to the halfway through is maybe this this tree and then bottom is about slightly above this and then maybe another tree maybe this tree should be and then this lamp post will come another halfway through but slightly more to the to the right means this tree this lamp post this lamp post should be yeah maybe it's okay it's about yeah now between here to here slightly to the left closer to the lump there's another tree and another tree just behind this lamp post and then this tree and then this front around you know more closer to you and then behind is kind of slightly above this tree and then behind is kind of quite big tree so and then another tree these are almost kind of right now going down and then around here there is hat which is quite dark so it's a uh, something dark is worthwhile kind of uh putting it down mention take notice so this is a uh, oh, okay edge of the roof maybe maybe edge of the roof maybe sort of comes maybe at this one yeah okay 
and then these three the biggest one closest one is slightly leaning towards that way and then again line of the tree comes here and here and then so the now that we think about between this tree and the edge of the paper this comes in halfway through so halfway through is this tree this tree you can see maybe behind my head and then next to that is kind of another halfway through nothing in there and then another halfway through this tree so uh, halfway through and another halfway through is about this tree this big tree now it's closer to you so coming in quite big and then the main one is being slightly this way and then the other one is slightly being this way and then edge of the umbrella is about here anyway okay so far we kind of um, vaguely set it up where and what sort of size should come this is top of the lamp post and all this but main thing is try to make sure that straight straight how do you see straight it's kind of parallel to the edge of the paper then it's, it looks straight and it could be straight maybe it should be slightly this way but anyway it doesn't matter little bit of sort of variation is okay because that will make it sort of unique to your picture but not too much at this stage i want you to be able to draw accurately as possible to transfer because um, then you know you can apply that to any picture you want black and white it doesn't matter if it's photograph somebody's work um it works anyway um so so far i set it up the position now that next one is angle 